Welcome back. In today's session, I will be demonstrating how to add an external website to your navigation items inside your Canvas course. And when students click on it, that website opens up inside your content pane so students don't have to leave Canvas. Something like this. So here's an external website that I have added. I have named it as Hypothesis Calculator. It is right under my navigation items or navigation pane. When students click on it, this website opens inside my Canvas. Students are not leaving Canvas. They can play with it. They can perform the required operations. And once they're done, they can navigate to other items in my navigation pane. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. So here I am on my Canvas page. My goal here is to add this hypothesis, Desmos, calculator into my navigation pane. So my students are not looking for it inside the modules or pages. To do that, we have to add an app. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to my settings tab right here. And I'm going to click on apps. And here I'm going to go ahead and look or search for the app called redirect. And as soon as I type in, as you can see, this little arrow pops up telling you that's the app. When you hover over it, this tells you that this tool is used to add external websites into your navigation pane. Once that's done, let's go ahead and click add app. And here you have an option to name this. I don't want to name it as redirect tool, of course. I want to name it as hypothesis calculator. And here is what which is most important. As you can see, I want you to go ahead and delete all of this. Go back to my link. I'm going to copy this, come back and paste it right here. That's very important. Make sure you delete everything and paste your entire link. Once that's done, as you can see, I have an option that says force open in a new tab. And I'm also going to check show in course navigation. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and click add app. And here I have a notification saying my app has been added successfully. Once that's done, it's very important to refresh. And once I refresh it, I'm going to click on my navigation tab. And here you can see my hypothesis calculator. Just for me to have an easy access or my students to have easy access, I'm going to drag it all the way to the top. Where is it? Drag it all the way to the top. Come on. And then I'm going to make sure I click save, which is very important. I usually forget this step. Once that's done, I am going to click on my home tab and I'm going to view this as a student. And as you can see, here is my hypothesis calculator. I'm going to click on that. And here it gives me a notification saying, do you want to open this in a new tab? I'm going to go ahead, open this in a new tab. And here is my hypothesis Desmos calculator always available to my students in the navigation pane. Now, let's just say you do not want this to open up in a brand new tab. You want this to open up inside your canvas. To do that, let's scroll down all the way to my settings. I am going to click on apps. I'm going to click on view app configuration. And here I am going to search for my hypothesis calculator. And as you can see, I have this little setting icon here. I'm going to click on this little arrow, click on edit. Here you have an option to change the name. I don't want to change the name. And when I scroll down here, as you can see, it says new tab equal to one. All I have to do is delete that and click submit. And do not forget to refresh. It says app has been successfully updated. Let's go ahead and refresh. And let's go back to student view. And now I'm going to click on this hypothesis calculator. And here it automatically loads into my Canvas page. Let me leave student view. And you decided you want to open this in a brand new tab. Let's go back to my settings. Go to apps, view app configuration. I'm going to scroll down to my hypothesis calculator. Click on this little arrow, edit. And here you have to type in for this to open up in a new tab. You have to type new underscore tab equal to one and click save. 
and then this opens up in a brand new tab. So for this to open up in a new tab, you have to have new underscore tab equal to one. If you don't want this to open up in a new tab, if you want this inside your canvas, just delete it or just uncheck the box when you're adding the app. I want this to be inside my canvas. Click submit. Now, what if you do not want this or what if you decided you don't want this website in your navigation pane and you want to delete it? All you have to do is again, go back to, let me click on app, view app configuration, scroll all the way down until you find your hypothesis calculator, click on this little arrow and simply click delete. Do you want to remove this tool? Yes, I do. Once that's done, the app has been updated successfully. Like always, do not forget to refresh. And as soon as you refresh, as you can see, that little link has been disappeared from my navigation pane. And that's how you add an external website to your canvas as a navigation item. I hope you enjoyed this quick session on how to add external websites to your Canvas navigation pane. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because I know educators are always looking for ways to minimize the clicks in the Canvas courses. I will leave a link in the description box below for Canvas, Technology and Microsoft Teams. Do not forget to check them out. And don't forget to comment in the comment section below. What more videos do you want me to make for you? Like always, happy teaching and please Please take care of yourself.